The third iteration of Pier 1 famously collapsed on the day it received historic landmark designation. As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that. Just to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Boy, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But I just say it. Maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings. So pretty boy. Now we playing with power. Cut, cut. She's catching her wind. To catch a shark, one must be as quick as a shark. Let's move up. Don't fight with 
Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she yet? I don't know. We're gonna put to the now, eh? Can! Get that can! Down him! He get one! What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The shark is now an elder, and thus begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination.
the solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Homeless and itinerant hobos will work for a living. They are not to be confused with bums who are sedentary and refuse to work. of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness.
The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. The ocean is a fluid and fascinating world, always changing, forever in motion. constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. supplement has zero added, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting artificial colors or flavors. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage. Scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite.
Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Even the self-driving technology of Gazorpazor is not without its reliability concerns. Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches. Fenced off, this shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. When it was discovered that their Stonehenge replica was astronomically misaligned, enraged Port Clovians threw it in the ocean. shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to Port Clovis.